friends, it's Mindy. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing how to organize your entire life with Google Calendar. I'm going to be sharing tips on how to make your Google Calendar look aesthetically pleasing. And I will also be sharing Google Calendar shortcuts. So if you want to learn how to use them, make sure you stay for the whole video because I will be sharing all the tips throughout the entire video. Let's get started. So this is what my Google Calendar looks like. I found the default colors to be too brash and splashy for me. So I actually customized them to muted pastel colors. You can go to this website that I'll also link in the description box if you want to go find complimentary colors to use for your Google Calendar. Or what you can do is you can go and find some hex codes that you like on Canva and choose the colors that you want for your Google Calendar. Now, if you don't want to spend the time to go through all the colors, I did actually create a sheet with all the pretty pastel colors that look great in a Google Calendar for you to download and save some time. So I'll include all the links and details in the description box below. After you go and choose your colors, all you have to do is go where your calendars are. So let's say you want to change one for personal events, click on those three dots, go to the plus sign over here, at the bottom and then add your hex code in and it's simple as that. The next tip on how to organize your entire life in Google Calendar is to create custom categories in your Google Calendar. Right now I have categories turned on for work, important days and events, YouTube, bills, assignments, classes, personal events. If you want to go and create a category, you can just go and create a new calendar and then when you go back, it should show up on the left side there. If you don't want to see specific labels, so let's say you just don't want to see these work shifts, then you just turn that off and it'll just disappear. Having categories like this helps with knowing what is happening on which day and helps with prioritizing and also organizing for every single day and every single week. I'm gonna have to update all of these in December because I'm gonna be starting school. I will definitely share that video with you. And this brings me to my next point. So one thing I've done in the past that was not effective in the long run was putting in every possible thing into my Google Calendar. This is an example of my calendar from beginning of last year when I was would schedule like a crazy person. I just threw everything in the calendar. It becomes a little bit too chaotic and ineffective. I'm gonna show you what I currently do. As you can see, we're back to the present calendar. To prioritize effectively in Google Calendar, I make sure to only put in things that may have imminent deadlines, recurring events like classes or work, and just really important days. I also make sure I color code. So for example, bills are always red so that they stand out on my calendar and I always make sure to have certain bills recurring. So let's just create an example. Let's say you have a meeting every day of the week. So we're just gonna go and change this to work. You're gonna just go to the doesn't repeat and change that to every weekday. And that should appear every single Monday to Friday. The next tip on how to organize your entire life in Google Calendar is knowing shortcuts on Google Calendar. I accidentally found these while typing on my keyboard. It was the happiest accident of the year. So pause this video and open up your Google Calendar right now so you can try these shortcuts out with me. This is the weekly view currently on my Google Calendar. Now let's say that you just want to see just one particular day. So all you need to do is go on your keyboard. You're gonna press on the number one keyboard and then it's going to show you just one day. And if you wanna go see a monthly view, go and click on M or number three, and it's going to show you a monthly view. But let's say that you wanna see a weekly view, so all you need to do is click on W, or alternatively, you can click on number two on the keyboard. If you want to go and see the next week, click on J, and it's going to go to the next week. If you wanna go back to the previous week, click on K, click on C, it's going to create an event for you. If you want to go see the year, click on Y. There are just so many more that I will definitely include in the description box. Let me know in the comments below what your reaction was to the shortcuts, if you knew about them, if you didn't. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video.